spaghetti next. Victoria plumbing, because if they have, somebody would better get down a rod on quick dial. I couldn't swing a four foot tie bride round in here. I'd do her bloody boxing. Your games suck ass. That they cater for people like me who have a turd once a week. It's one pound for dogs. I ain't got a dog with me. Now then, welcome to another video from me, Box of Demons. And where are we? What are you doing? What are you doing, lad? I'm gonna have a little break. I'm gonna go up to Snowdonia for three or four days. Let's do some interesting stuff. It's time to go get a bloody £8.50 cup of tea and a bloody pasty. You know what it's like in these bloody places? Can you point the camera at me? I need a bloody mortgage just to get a bloody pasty now. I'm not liking the way that this electric electricity pylon on my right hand side is crackling away like a bloody mother chugger. Have you heard that? That don't sound right. So we've got us coffee. I've remortgaged the house. Well, it says that I'll either remortgage house or I'll give them £72.50 for a bloody cuppa. They said to me, cheeky bastards, they said, do you want a bottle of water for three quid? Bottle of water, my ass. And I'll tell you what, speaking about asses, why is it people go into these places, they have a dump, they come out the cubicle, and then they walk straight out, they don't even flush it, and they don't even wash their hands. God, I tell you what, I'm becoming a grumpy old man, me. This all goes back to work. People from upstairs at work, they come into our toilet, they have a dump, and then they leave, and it stinks! Bloody sick of it! I think it'd be rude to uh, not go to the beach here at Colwyn Bay, come all this way, well it's not actually that far from where I live, it's probably about an hour and a half, but might as well get on the sandy. Eh? And here we are, back, well I'll say back, we're still at Colwyn Bay. Point the camera down a little bit. As you can see, the bay goes all the way around the outside, and here we are, the golden sands of Wales. It's hard to believe we're actually in another country. The food programme looks at our long and tangled relationship with spaghetti next. If it doesn't make you want to sit down to a big bowl of pasta and ragu, nothing will. We're in the Tunnel Conway. I think it's the Tunnel Conway, and I don't know if that even that's even a very good accent for the Welsh accent. In the Tunnel Conway. No more pets. Keep your distance. Sounds more Jamaican than bloody Welsh. Well, we're on our way now towards Banger. Chance to be a fine thing. Will you stop going on about lack of women? I was doing my hitting, man. I was doing my boxing. I do her bloody boxing. But anyway, as you can see, that's one big mountain up there. And I think we're going to be going through another tunnel coming up here. Yes, I can see it up ahead. is Quidlick Ick Pelter. Apologies for any Welsh people who just looked at that and said that's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm in a foreign country basically. So let's head into the tunnel here, right in the side of the bloody mountain. That is quite cool. Well done Welsh. You've done a you've done a good job here. You've dug it a hole all the way through the bloody mountain. Quite impressed. So well done Welsh. Well done lads, you've dug a mighty fine tunnel. I'm not gonna deny you that. Not seen any sheep as yet. There we are. So you never knew you'd be getting a holiday destination video on this channel, did you? See, that's what keeps it fresh, keeps it interesting. And there we are, out to the beautiful coast. So let's crack on, keep going, and eventually we should end up Right, so we made it safely, and I've decided I was going to stay at the Royal Victoria. Yeah, it sounds posh, very British, even though we're in Wales, I know. Now, when I paid for this room, I did pay a little bit extra, quite a little bit of one, shall we say. And it says on the brochure, spacious room, mountain view. Let's have a look, shall we, at this spacious room. <laughs> yeah. Very spacious. I couldn't swing a four foot tie bride round in here. Bloody hell. And as for the mountain view, beautiful mountain views. Uh... <sighs> Go bollocks. Wait, hold it. 
room, no bed. Hold it for me, yeah? There's nobody there. So the plan is of now. I don't actually have a plan, to be honest with you. Let's get some good parallax. Don't have a plan. I think we'll go back to the car. And I noticed that just around the corner from the hotel, there's something called the, the Slate Museum. How they can get a museum out of that? It's a piece of bloody slate in it, but it did look quite impressive as we drove past. So what we'll do is... What we'll do is, we shall go... We shall go there, if we can work out the bloody way out. We'll go there now, get the stuff out of the car, and from there, we're gonna have a look around. I always feel like an idiot walking around talking to this, but who cares? Who cares, eh? So here we are. This is the outside of the hotel. They were kind of not lying, there is mountain views up there. And I'll give you a little, little look-see of the hotel now. Show you where I'm staying. Queen Victoria Hotel, here in Landis, I think they call it. Quite nice inside, I will be honest. But there you go, that is the hotel there. So if you're staying at Landis, it's really quite nice. Let's crack on. He said he just to go for a wander. You can see up there, this is the sample just outside the hotel. Electric Mountain. Don't know what that is, sounds good. Sherpa, Dolpadan Castle. And then we can go to a really funny world alien. You know what? I think we'll just walk. Just walk. See where we end up and see what we can find. Alright. Evening. <laughs> Nobed forgot his wallet. <laughs> this is really impressive and it's not going to look that impressive on YouTube or the GoPro to be honest with you. That's a lot of slate. All that mass up there and it looks like the whole of the mountain up there has been chiselled away. And it comes down here to this lake. course we know that the tornadoes now no longer flying in the UK their last flight over the UK was last week so if you heard a jet fighter flying over it was the last time for the tornadoes to be flying over even though they were in Bosnia Iraq and Gulf War they've now been replaced by the Eurofighter so there you go you've learned something interesting today and there's a paraglider up there but yeah this is the Welsh slate mine so we have sheep shagging and we have slate. So far, that's all we've discovered. But I'm seeing something called, over there, the pleasure boat. Better not take me well it is. It'll be full of little brown marbles. That'll have to be the last of the sheep shagging jokes, I think. Demon's not having much luck today. Just got there to go get the train around the lake. Uh, $9, which is not too bad. You've just missed it, love. Just missed it, boy. Next one's in an hour. It's one pound for dogs. I ain't got a dog with me. Anyway, missed it by an hour, so I'm not going to stand here around for an hour. Let's just get back to the car. Head up into hills. And let's see what we can find. Apparently there's a castle around here and there's a few other little bits. I'm going to sort out a proper itinerary for the other two days that I'm actually staying here. But obviously today, I didn't know what time I was going to get here. And lo and behold, this is what you get when not planning. Never mind, we'll crack on. Car park, around this lake here, um, Atinia du Padan, apparently. And I'm just looking on the map here, there's something here called the Anglesey Barracks. So what we'll do is, we are here, we'll go across here, and we'll head up and have a look if these barracks are actually military barracks. If not, we'll soon find out. That water is clean. My God, you can see right down to the bottom, at least eight, ten foot there. Might not come out on the GoPro. The deal near me, there's dead dogs and cars and cats and all sorts of bags of rubbish. We really do live in a cesspit up north in certain places.
in like a mofo. And I've just had a bit of information off, off a yokel that says, ah oh, lads, you don't right path, just keep going. And watch here, I'm filming. You're on the right path, just keep going. And as you get to the top, you go across a little metal bridge and it's over there, over near the power station and the quarry. No idea what this actual barracks is, whether they've just called it that, or whether it was actually a Pinnick military barracks. I need to get back to CrossFit. Look at this. Oh, Chuffing hell, lad. If that starts to landslide, it'll be kiss my ass goodbye. Let's keep going. Chuffing hell. Holy shit. I have just climbed a long way. Holy crap. Right, well, apparently, whew, this is the barracks, which not so much of a barracks, more of a, I would imagine this is where the miners would work because there's a train track coming all the way up here and there's a few slate buckets as well. So it is kind of cool that they would all live in this. They've all got their own little chimneys and stuff. Let's go in and have a look at one. Oh, yeah. These walls are absolutely rock solid. So you can see they've obviously got a chimney there going all the way up, up to the top there. You certainly won't get any wind or rain bothering you up here. There's the bedroom, the boudoir, where the seven dwarves would give Snow White a good scene to, seven up and all that. I'm absolutely flabbershabbered. It's taken me about 40 minutes to get up here. That was a long climb, steep as well. And the sun is absolutely belting down here in Wales. But it is peaceful, listen to that. Nothing, nothing. But of course, what goes up must come down. Is that Kit Beckinsale? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a box of demons. Look, I'm up a mountain in Wales. I'm a bit tired. If you wanted some manky panky tonight, then uh, you're probably going to have to do all the work. I'm tired. You can just, yeah. What are you doing, Wales? You're horny. I'm on my way. I need to go find Kit Beckinsale. She's up for it. She'll be able to do a bloody cartwheel. Get in there! Bloody Kit Beckinsale! I'm going to give her what for. So that's how far we've come, all the way up there. It doesn't look that far, but believe you me, that is a long way. And I'm up here, up on the tops. And all I can say is it's a good job in Wales that they cater for people like me who have a turd once a week, because that's the size of the pile. <laughs> I hope the Victoria Hotel has not got Victoria plumbing, because if they have, somebody better get Dynarod on quick dial. God, hold it in. I've not got poopangs yet and I ain't got a piece of leather to bite down on. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm getting knobbed. Right, well it's time to get off this mountain. The air's coming down. I can see the foreign troops on the other side. I've done a bit of a recce up on the mountain top here. It's time to get boots on the ground, get out of here. It's time to get tactical. It's time to get a tactical bottle of water and a pasty. Get off this mountain. I'm surrounded and supplies are short. I think I'm losing the plot. Well, that's that mountain smashed. But I tell you what, you're definitely going to want to get some Solomon 5Ds. The same boots that Special Forces wore when they smashed Shabba Dabba Ding Dong, Osmab and Pedophile. They smashed him out in the desert, put a bullet in the top lip and threw him overboard. I tell you what, you need some of these boots, your ankles are going to be absolutely snockered if you don't. Because this, I'll be honest with you, it's pretty tough going. Let's click on, I'm just checking the stars. Yeah, we're ready, we're in due south. Everything's all right. I ain't got my tom tom. Don't need it. Not when you're tactically aware. <sighs> Look at me. Fucking YouTube rock star here. Mountain, Wales, smashed. Let's crack on. Your games suck ass. If I've got any battery left, you watch battery will go down. Mm, 
Might want to get back. Jesus Christ, that's deafening. No. Sign says. Yeah, I'll show you what the sign says. Sign says there, because I can speak Welsh. It says there, Ada Quale i Blant. A Buddha picnic. It means you can't go up there, English idiot, go bollocks, but you can have a picnic. So there you go. Didn't know I could speak. I was going to say Spanish then. Fucking not bad. I need knocking clean out. See next video. A museum on the slate. Slate, yeah. This is not only the Welsh Slate Museum, it's also the National Slate Museum. So if you're interested in slate, everything around here is bloody slate. What they do is they quarry it, they bring it down and they process it. Job done, so you don't need to go in and spend half an hour in there looking at slate. Not a lot to look at, but do you know what? While we're here, why not? Let's go in and have a look and see how interesting a museum on slate can be. I'm sure we're going to see pictures of horses pulling carts. Oh, in the old days, we used to get the slate off the mountains up there by old by horse. I don't know what language that is. And then we got seven dwarves. We got these. We got these diggers here, and we put it in the diggers. Different accent again. Consistency is quality. In these, and now the quarry is closed. That's what it's going to be. I guarantee it. There you go. Look. There you go. It's the future of slate preparation and delivery. Fascinating. Nobody's watching this. Nobody's watching this, demon. There's absolutely point that you're doing this, but hey ho. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. People looking at me like I'm a bloody weirdo. Walking around talking to himself. What's this here? What's this? We have all different types of slate. We've even got wet slate, boy. Dim do a yiddy yiddy hun. Oh, there you go. If you want you to see some wet slate, this is the place to come. Fantastic. Doesn't even tell us what the point of this is. What is the point of this? Must be a reason why they're wetting this slate. Maybe get answers and comments in the box below. Is it to show the different colour after it's been cleaned? Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. That's quite a big water wheel. That's actually quite impressive. You said it wasn't really good, it was snake mine. Well, this is actually quite impressive. That's massive. <laughs> I'm Hank Marvin. I'm absolutely starving now. Just been up to the top up mountains. You know, combat tactical mission. Doing a bit of a recce. Only took a bottle of water and blew your jacket. But that's what you do when you live on edge. So I'm back at car park now. It's time to go back to the hotel, get some snap, and then I think tonight I might go for a little wonder. But whether you guys are coming along with me, there's going to be a lot of women involved tonight. You know, <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for watching if you made it this far.